Hello everybody! Look at the cover of this gorgeous new holiday catalog from Stampin' Up! Now this comes out September 1st but as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator we are able to pre-order products from our catalogs a month before they go live so yesterday I received my pre-order and it's so full of amazing wonderful stamp sets and accessories and papers you are just going to love it. I absolutely promise you are going to love everything in this catalog. They outdid themselves, as they always do. So, um, I actually cased a card this morning that is directly from the catalog. And I love how it turned out so much. I wanted to quickly do a video to show you. So, this is a new stamp set. It is called Painted Harvest. It's a two-step stamp set. Isn't that beautiful? perfect for fall, perfect for all kinds of different um, occasions. So it's a beautiful sunflower. So I'm going to show you what I did on my card this morning. And again, I pretty much cased it from um, directly from the catalog, which is the beautiful thing about our catalogs is they're so full of inspiration for us, for our projects. So I am taking the biggest um, of the sunflower images right here. And I'm going to ink this up with my Crushed Curry ink pad. Now, before I stamp this onto my paper, this, by the way, is our watercolor cardstock. And it measures five and a quarter by four. And I'm going to mist this lightly with water. And then I'm going to stamp it right on top. And I'm just going to hold it there for a second. And you see how you kind of get that mottled look? Now, somehow, I got some ink on there, but oh well that happens and I'm gonna stamp a second one right there and then a third one over here so I'm gonna miss my stamp wipe it off now I'm coming in with the smaller of the images this one right here this one's a bit more detailed and I'm using Cajun craze now on this image I find that there's a pointy petal right here um, that kind of lines up with this one here, but honestly, I have found that no matter which way I stamp it, it looks good, but um, I do find that pointy bit does make a bit of a difference with lining things up for sure. So I think that's right about here. Gorgeous. Okay. Do that again. And a third time. Just trying to line this up here. You know, that one didn't line up so well, but I'm not worried about it. I find sometimes when we're doing our card making, people are so focused on having it absolutely perfect and they get discouraged and just kind of give up and throw the whole thing away and I encourage you not to do that and just to enjoy the whole just the fun of it and don't try to make it so perfect so now I'm just stamping the inside pretty 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 and I use soft suede for the inside portion and it's nice because it's got all the shading in there so now I am going to take the fern and I am going to stamp this using Old Olive. So for the fern there's a solid image and then a bit more detailed so I'm using the solid image first. And I think the paper is a little bit dry so I'm going to mist it lightly again with my water. I'm going to stamp one there. A second one and then a third one right there so pretty I just love how these colors come together so now we're taking the more detailed image and this time I'm going to stamp garden green right on top of our old olive and again it just lines right on top so it adds that pretty detail There. 
pretty pretty okay so I'm going to set this aside to dry now I want to stamp my sentiment so to do that I have a piece of our wood designer series paper and I'm going to use the I am thankful for you which is this one right here I'm going to stamp that in soft suede but you know what I think I'm going to emboss that in clear so here's a little trick ink it up first with your first mark then stamp it into your ink pad and then stamp down taking my clear embossing powder tap it off and I'm just going to sap that with my heat tool Okay, so now that this is embossed, I'm going to punch it out and look what I'm using. This is a brand new punch. It's called the Everyday Label Punch. And of course, we have stamp set that coordinate with this. So I am going to be using this a lot, I can tell you. So now I'm just going to punch that right out. There's my little label. Now, before I put this onto my card, now, can you see I've got like a bit of blotchy ink there I kind of didn't that wasn't the look I'm going for so I need to figure out how I want to fix that so I'm going to grab my timeless texture stamp set and I think I'm going to use this stamp right here and I'm going to go around the edge and just see if I can actually this one might be good too kind of like the wood grain I'm going to do this in crumb cake So I'm winging this here, just trying to cover these bits. And sometimes when you when you make a mistake, or it's not even a mistake, but when things like that happen, I find when you kind of um, try to you know fix them up, you end up coming up with something that you love that you wouldn't ordinarily have thought of doing. There. And since I have timeless textures out, I'm going to grab my dots and just put a few splatters here and there. Okay, I need to first figure out where I want to put this, which I think I'm going to put it right there. So I want my bow to go over here. Okay. Wrap it around. Oops. So I'm just tying a knot to hold this twine in place. And now I'm going to add my bow. Just like that. My fast fuse. And then I have a card base that measures five and a half by four and a quarter. Oops, we don't want that to go underneath like that. Ay, ay, ay. We'll fix that bow in a second. It goes right on top of that. So now I'm taking some Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm going to put them on the back. Because this DSP is not as heavy as the cardstock, I do find you need to put this many dimensionals on it so that it doesn't, you know, fold over or go flat. Okay, so put that on right like that. Okay, my bow was not staying pretty for me, so I trimmed off the ends and then I've got some more twine, so I'm just making a bow. There, that's better. Trim off the end. And grab a little glue dot. And I'll put that right on top. There.
Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, you guys. When you get your holiday catalog, you are going to want this stamp set. Now, if you don't already have a demonstrator and you're in Canada, I would be happy to send you a complimentary holiday catalog. Um, in the description of the video, you'll find the link to my website and my email. Just pop me a message and I will get a holiday catalog off to you because you are going to want to get your hands on this. So, again, here is our holiday catalog. It's gorgeous and um, I know you're going to love it as much as I do. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Happy stamping.